It's a high-stakes competition to deliver 1,000 megawatts of Canadian hydroelectricity to Massachusetts. And this week, New Hampshire's Northern Pass Project got the nod, selected Thursday by Massachusetts regulators over projects in Maine and Vermont. Obviously disappointed. Uh, Vermont Steve Governor Phil yesterday. Scott Governor personally Scott lobbied for a competing project called TDI in New world. England a fully permitted plan to lay cable from the Canadian border along the Lake Champlain shoreline connecting to the New England grid. It's a billion-dollar plan that promised new tax revenue and millions every year for lake cleanup. Obviously, uh, we have more work to do on clean water in the state, and $5 million extra would have been helpful. But perhaps it's not over yet. In a call to Scott, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker said Northern Pass developers now have 60 days to prove they can actually build their new line, which cuts through scenic areas and faces fierce opposition. The Conservation Law Foundation in Boston called the decision a slap in the face to dozens of affected communities and thousands of local residents who've been outspoken in opposing this harmful proposal. A legal challenge could easily blow the 60-day window. We've seen in the northern area of New England uh, that uh, people have strong feelings about uh, permitting and, and what goes through uh, their area. And we'll see what happens in New Hampshire. I'm not sure that uh, this is a done deal. And so we wait. In Montpelier, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News.